GOP and the neoliberals will tell you that expanding Social Security, expanding SNAP benefits, and implementing universal health care is just too expensive. But when it comes to their first love, and it's not the people, it is the military industrial complex. They will do anything for that lover. Let's put up this headline, Congress approves 858 billion with a B military budget, 45 billion more than requested by Biden. Now, do y'all see why this is messed up America? Are you with me on this? Can I get an amen on this? 45, 45 billion dollars more than what was requested was given. Congress approves 858 billion dollar military budget. And most of this budget is not benefiting our enlisted men and women. It is going to these contractors. Do you hear me, America? There is something wrong with the soul of this country to allow people to go hungry, to deliberately allow. Again, because they must not, they cannot be consulting with their constituents. Because if they were, they would know that all is not well. And his next headline, USA commitment to Ukraine, largest since US war in Iraq. To quote the urban poet Tupac, we got money for wars, but we can't feed the poor. Timeless words from the urban poet, got money for wars. We seeing this in real time right now, not yesterday, not two years from now, money for wars but cannot feed the poor. In total, Congress has approved more than $112 billion would be in aid to Ukraine. And Biden has promised more. He let them know, I mean, he was over there, flew over there, but didn't come to East Palestine. And he let them know, hey, we got more money for you. You see what the problem is, America, is that you cannot take care of everybody else and neglect the people at home. Now, in The Bible that I read says charity starts at home and then spreads abroad. And you ain't got to be religious or spiritual to understand that concept. For those of us who've ever flown on the airplane, you know what the stewardesses, they tell us right when they giving us that that visual, they checking us out, they making sure you seat belted and everything. And they say the following to you, should the mask come down? Now we hoping that it don't come down, it probably will not come down. We gonna make it from point A to point B most likely. But should it come down, put the mask on yourself first before aiding somebody else. Can I get a hello somebody or an amen on that? For every dollar that is sent over to our Ukrainian sisters and brothers and family and friends, we ought to be spending $2 over here. Is that too much to ask? But these geniuses are gonna let these programs that were giving people a lift, they don't let them expire. Because see, the people that are hurting the most right now, they were hurting before the pandemic. But these folks don't give a damn America, they just don't. I mean, I hate to be the bearer of this kind of news, but you gotta know by their actions and how they're spending our money that they don't give a damn. We need to make some new decisions, America. As Jackson said, 2024 is fast approaching. We need to make some new decisions, all right? All right, we're gonna keep up on this. We need to be raising hell. We should be out in the streets right now, like France. Jesus, we too complicit in our own demise.